Mortgage rates are showing opportunity. Find out more next. You're definitely gonna wanna watch this one. Mortgage rates have come down below 5% for the first time since April. And this spells opportunity for buyers and for sellers in the marketplace. And let me explain how this is all gonna work and what is in front of you here because when you have opportunities like this, it's usually best to get informed, see if it makes sense, and then jump in and take advantage if it does. So for buyers, what this means is that your payment's going to be lower on the same priced home. One of the biggest objections buyers have had is that they don't wanna pay 6% plus on a 30-year fixed loan. They don't wanna pay in the high fives. We know rates were lower earlier in the year. This is no longer an issue. Rates have come back down to below 5%. So your payment's gonna be less on the same home or you can afford a higher priced home that might have the features and the floor plan and the location that you want. This is real opportunity here. And Lawrence Yoon, chief economist for NAR, he foresees these rates stabilizing in the five to five and a half percent range at least through the end of the year because if you looked at what happened after the Fed meeting in July, rates came down. If you looked at what happened in June, rates came down after the initial shock wave of that 75 basis point hike that the Fed made in June. So a lot of economists are foreseeing rates kind of stabilizing here. And I don't know how long this is gonna last, nobody does. This tells me that if you're thinking about buying a home and rates scared you off, there's opportunity. There's another opportunity here for buyers and for sellers. Because now for sellers, Buyers can afford more, so they might be able to afford a better price for your home. We also know the biggest objection with sellers is that they didn't know where they wanted to go. Well, the other news coming out of all the chief economists that are out there, notably Realtor.com chief economist Danielle Hale and NAR economist Lawrence Yoon, is that buyers are going to have more choices ahead of them as we head into the fall market. So now you've got rates have stabilized and come down a good bit predictions of more inventory coming to the market. We're seeing more homes have price adjustments. Contingencies are being accepted, meaning financing and inspections. So it's gonna be easier to acquire a home if you're thinking about moving and don't wanna sell your current property because you don't know where you're going to go. So all of this tells me that we've got an opportunity in front of us here for every consumer that may have got scared off by the market moving very fast, having to waive contingencies, increasing rates because there's still all these millennial home buyers that are out there and they are in their peak buying years. So demand is not going to decrease. I'm very clear on that. If you look at the peak home buying years, that's anywhere from 20 up until about 35. And we know most millennials are in that 25 to 40 year old range. So millennials, because a lot of them said they're never going to buy a home and now all of a sudden they're buying homes, they're driving a continuation of price appreciation. Keeping Current Matters, it's a real estate news website. They track all the major housing authorities out there. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, the Home Price Index, all these people that predict what's going to happen with home prices. On average, through the month of July, they're predicting an 8.5% increase year over year in home values throughout the country. So we've got data that home prices are gonna to continue to increase. We've seen rates drop, inventories picking up, and the market's decelerating a bit, which tells me all the people that were scared about rates or scared about not knowing where they're going to go and didn't want to sell their home, you've got a window of opportunity in front of you here. And what I'm clear on is that I doubt you're going to see this last very long. There's a window of opportunity right now, arguably through the end of the year, before we see the market maybe continue to decelerate, see we fall into that kind of seasonal slowdown that usually happens at the end of the year, so if I was thinking about buying or selling right now, I'd get in touch with someone about what I need to do. Talk to a professional, get the real data in your marketplace because we don't know how long rates are gonna stay here. The Fed is fighting inflation, they're very clear on that. And we've seen rates drop, which spells opportunity for consumers.